Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Raquel Lynette. I am going to be reviewing the Best Life palette today. Clearly that's why you clicked on the video. Uh, Little Duval definitely made an impact on modern day culture by saying we're living our best lives. I'm living my best life. Hey. I ain't going back and forth with you. So yeah, I got this palette. I walked past it twice in Sephora. The first time I thought that the palette was just kind of crazy. I was like, how is this gonna work? We got we gotta open it, we gotta fold it, we got like glitter here, we have shadows there, there's a mirror at the bottom now. Pretty, but no. And then like I walked past it a second time and I swatched the glitters, and the glitters are really, really what sold me. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're this far into the video and you haven't subscribed. I need you to go ahead and subscribe if you want to see my review. Of course, keep on watching and I'll meet you guys here at the end of the video. So first things first, of course, I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade tan, and I just love how this creates a base and all of my shadows always adhere perfectly with this formula. So now that we've buffed that out, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my Beauty Bakery translucent powder and just put a little bit under my eyes because oof, I don't know how much fallout is on these shadows. So I just wanna say keep a very light hand if you don't know what to expect with these because they are very pigmented. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade uh, Paradise, which I feel is really safe. Uh, I'm gonna mix Paradise with Cocktails. Again, like the mirror is at such an awkward angle, it's like upside down, so like I have to turn the palette to be able to use it. Um, but I mean, at least there's a mirror, I can't complain about that. So I'm just blending these two into your crease. Let's go ahead and dip into this really pretty burnt orange shade, and this is called Sunsets. It says, I was definitely living my best life in Hawaii. It was such a beautiful experience, it's such a great place to go and travel, just to kick back, because when you work hard, you definitely need to vacation. And you guys, the brush that I'm using is a diffuser crease brush by Sigma Beauty. So I'm just, I'm sweeping that a little bit past the outward, the end of my eyebrow. And Pick up my Sigma 63 brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Deserts, which is this beautiful ocean blue, turquoise ocean blue color. Definitely just pick up a touch. I'm gonna keep pressing that into the crease. And we're gonna make like a rainbow. So now I'm just going to take this clean tart brush and just very, very softly blend into that crease color. And honestly, it's coming off like a little bit muddy, so I just want to work very, very carefully with this blue. So now I'm going to go back into Sunset and just very lightly re-blend those together to smoke that color out. Again, very dry formula, not too much fallout at all. Not like an unprecedented amount. Sigma E45 blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade Holiday. And that is just a charcoal black. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna have to build this black up. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty pigmented. I don't have to do too much with it. Just, again, a drier formula. All right, now that that's blended, we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. So I love shape tape, but like when you're down to the nitty gritty, this stuff gets so dry and it's so hard to get out of this damn tube. Ugh. Make sure like you open your eye and blend it out and pat it so it's an even consistency to lay down your shadows. I'm gonna just go ahead and do a little slight re-blend. I really like how that looks. It's so pretty. Stop playing with me. So I'm just taking a regular schmegular 
flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Vacation. Press that into the lid. That's very, very pretty purple. Love the formula for these uh, shimmer shadows. The last shade I put on my eye was Vacation All I Ever Wanted. And the next one I'm gonna put on is Getaway. And well, oh, okay. See, it's like a kind of a hassle. Like, I'm not even about to play with you. Like, that's one of the reasons why I kept walking past the palette because I just thought it was gonna be way too complicated to like do my makeup and have the, the glitters and, and the mattes and it's kind of bulky and the mirrors upside down. Anyways, I'm gonna use the two colors Getaway and Love. It's like a mauve pink satin shimmer. Very pretty. I haven't put any, I didn't even wet the brush. Maybe a little bit from like the makeup wipe, but other than that, it hasn't been prepped. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up Love. Now Love is like a dual chrome, orange, rose gold color. So it's, it's kind of, um, depending on how the light hits it, it's either gonna be pink or it's gonna be orange or a peach, a peach. A dual chrome peach color. Those blended so beautifully. Like no regrets. My eyeliner's bleeding a little bit right there, but I am so impressed with these satin these satin colors. Like basically blended themselves into each other. Didn't prep the brush, they look so pretty. Like seriously, these, well worth it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the NYX glitter and this is in the shade Crystal Ball and we're just going to outline our lid. So I did press a little bit of the glitter onto the shadow so I used Hugs for the purple shade over vacation. The success over getaway, and then I used, then I used laughs over love. Sounds like a recipe or a spell, really. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press those colors into those shades right now. And these glitters, again, I'm telling you, these glitters, which is what really sold me. I didn't even like swatch the shadows. It was the glitters that really like blew me away. How they're just literally packing onto my lid without any type of adhesive and staying there with no fallout like this is unheard of like this has changed the game because that is supposed to go over guys so fr and finally picking up laughs which is an iridescent glitter but i didn't really want to hide this beautiful shade love there we are <laughs> It's so pretty. With whatever is left on this brush that I cut my crease with, I'm just gonna try to clean this up for my liner. Go ahead and line this eye. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on these really, really beautiful lashes that I got from SLR Beauty. Thank you so much for sending them to me. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with this LA Girl Neon Eyeliner and this is in the shade Vivid. Different looks. I really like this. It's so affordable but it's so creamy and it just glides right on your waterline. Alright, now grabbing for this short shader brush by Sigma Beauty. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the shade Desserts again and just smudge that right underneath my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my inner tear duct with the same glitter liner from NYX. That just really brightens the eye. And now I'm just gonna apply a coat of mascara. I'm gonna use the Dumb Girl by Too Faced Cosmetics. I really like this mascara wand because it can get all up and underneath your eyelashes. I really like how it adheres to your, your bottom lashes, like seriously though. I'm gonna go ahead and spray with my Huda Beauty Boss Spray. I really love this spray. It smells so good and it keeps my makeup in place all day. 
so this is how everything turned out uh, I have some feedback about this palette so as you saw I was kind of struggling with the concept of the palette so the shadows the shimmer shadows bomb the shimmers just kind of are, are super buttery and they blend into each other very well without any type of harsh line matte mediocre uh, I mean like they'll do matte shadows I mean they work they work clearly they work but I just think that even with such a light hand it still comes out muddy and I didn't use like a lot of black I just used a very small pinch of black and it just has overpowered my crease and I really didn't want it to be like that I wanted deserts that turquoise color to shine through it's really unfortunate that this is the makeup of the palette that is the only downside that really is the only downside I don't regret buying this I think like if I were to set this down if I were just to set this down and like do my makeup on a vanity or if I'm doing somebody's makeup then it would work out well but for me sitting here at filming holding it it is very inconvenient so for convenience and packaging packaging is beautiful but for convenience definitely would have to be like a two out of five honestly I mean I like how the the pans for the glitter are very large but it's just I think that you can use this glitter for your body if you want it, you know are looking for a body glitter as well perfect for makeup artistry if you ha have a bunch of girls and you want to use glitter and you don't want to have to use the glitter adhesive that'll be like this will be a great formula of glitter to put in your kit but overall I would give this palette a 3.95 out of 5 price point the glitters the shimmers really good user friendly no and um the mattes are just a, a little bit too drying and overpowering but other than that it is such a beautiful 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 palette and you guys go find out for yourself go you can go get this at sephora otherwise you can order it online at violetvoss.com so let me know if you like the leave me a comment down below i love talking to you guys and i will see you guys here next time with another review